So you want to know some really cool tips and tricks inside of Pro Tools that'll really help your workflow? Keep on watching this video. And all you do is just move this fader back and it'll get lighter or brighter. What's up everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. Hey, what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. What I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you guys some really cool tips and tricks that you can utilize inside of Pro Tools to help your workflow. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Some of the things that I'm going to be showing you in this video is just basically how to do things like changing your track color, changing the name of your tracks, changing your track playlist. Uh, also, you know, just doing some really creative things that's actually going to help you be able to choose which one of your final mixes that you want to use for your final product when it's time to go ahead and finish off your song. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to change your track color real quick. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit the command button and the plus equal button. Okay. That's gonna take you over to your mix window, okay? So now what you wanna do in the process is if you wanna go ahead and change your track color, all you would need to do is just click the bottom down here. And once you click the bottom down here, you can just pretty much choose what, whatever color you want, okay? This is gonna be very useful if you wanna go ahead and color coordinate your tracks so you can basically organize things from like your lead vocals, your guitars, your 808s, your kicks, your snares, your hi-hats, whatever the case may be, it'll be a lot easier for you guys to go ahead and organize your session if you go ahead and color code everything, okay? Guys, this is going to help you color code everything. It's going to be extremely useful when you want to go ahead and separate and organize your tracks. So this is going to be useful because if you guys want to go ahead and separate your guitars, your lead vocals, your 808, your kicks, your snares, your hi-hats, it's going to help you organize everything so you can be able to separate those things out when it comes time to mix, okay? So what you want to do in the process is you just want to go ahead and click this. And once you double click it, you just choose whatever color you want to use for your lead vocal. And then once you do that, you can go down here to where it says tracks. So if you want to change the way that the track looks and you want it to be lighter and brighter, then you would go to track header saturation. And you, if you move the fader to the left, it'll get lighter and brighter. Okay. If you decide to move it to the right, it'll get a lot darker and saturated and more contrast, making the colors pop. I personally like this because I feel like it pops off the screen, making it pretty much a lot easier for me when it's time to mix. Okay, that's something that you can definitely do that's very useful in this particular situation. If you want to do multiple tracks at once, this is how you would do multiple tracks at once. You would click the first track, hold down the shift button, and then shift click the last one, and it'll highlight everything, and then you double click down here, and you just choose a color. Boom. It'll change them to whatever color you want. Super useful, okay? That'll help you out a lot. And you can just pretty much choose whatever you want. Now, what you can do next is we're going to hit the command equal plus button again and say if you wanted to go ahead and hide a particular track. OK, so like there's a track on here that I don't want to see. So if you wanted to delete this track or hide this track, all you would need to do is right click it. OK, and you would hit delete. Or say if you just want to hide the track, then you would hit hide. Or if you wanted to hide it and make it inactive, then you can hide it and make it inactive. So it's not taking up any of your processing power or anything like that. It's not being utilized in general. So if you just want to make it inactive, you make it inactive. If you want to hide it, you can hide it. And if you want to hide it and make it inactive at the same time, then you go ahead and choose hide and make it inactive and the track is gone. Okay. But that particular track, if you want to see that track again here, It'll show you in this particular track list or, or track clips over here or track list over here in general. You can just go back and you can hit show. Show and make active. Boom. And it'll come back. And if you want to hide it again, you can hide it and make it inactive. Okay. Boom. I don't want to see it. Or you can simply just click this button here, the little circle or the little dot, and it'll go away or it'll come back. Okay. Totally up to you. Now, another thing that's going to be super helpful is say if you wanted to do two different types of mixes on your lead vocal, but you wanted to do a duplicate of your lead vocal, okay? But now you didn't want to re-record the take. You wanted to do a duplicate of your lead vocal. What you would do is on your lead vocal track, on your lead vocal track, there's going to be a little drop down arrow, okay? And it's called the playlist selector. Okay, and what you want to do is click the drop down arrow and you just want to go ahead and create a duplicate. Okay, 
So after you create your duplicate, what you want to do is just go ahead and give it a different name, like lead box two. Okay. Boom. After that, you hit OK. Now, if you click this little drop down arrow, now if you decide to do one mix on a first lead vocal, you just click that one and it'll switch to that one. And then if you decide to do like a different effect or a different something different on a second lead vocal, then you would go ahead and choose that one from the playlist. This is super helpful, guys, because anytime, so say if I want the first lead to sound like a normal vocal or a certain effect, then I can leave that the same. And then if I want to test it out to see what it sounds like on a duplicate, then I go ahead and create the duplicate, apply the effect on there using the audio suite. I now have two different options on if I want to keep the vocal the same or if I want to have actual effects on that second vocal, I can just kind of see which one I like better for my final mix, okay? Now, say if you recorded your verse and you wanted to do your take totally different or you wanted to deliver your verse totally different, what you would do in that particular case is click the drop down button again and this time you're going to go to new. Okay, and you're going to name this one lead Vox uh, DT, different take, and hit OK. Now, if you notice the vocal disappeared, and you wanted it to disappear because now when I hit the record button, I can actually go in and sing or rap my verse totally different than I did on the other one. And then I can kind of like choose which one I like best out of those two. So if I wanted to go back to the original, then I'll click that drop down and I'll go to lead vocal one. Boom, and my first original take is going to be there just like that. It's going to pop up, and I can utilize that one. If I don't like that one, then I can basically go back to the other one, which is a uh, lead vocal, a uh, lead vox DT. And whatever I recorded here will actually now be the one verse or the, the take that I want to utilize for my final mix. So, guys, it's really up to you in, the, in this situation, but I think that is super, super helpful and beneficial to utilize some of these tips, okay? Guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Guys, I really feel like Pro Tools is super, super powerful when it comes to recording, mixing, and mastering inside of this program. I really feel like there's nothing that I can't accomplish inside of this software. That's why Pro Tools will always, always, always be my number one software to go with, and maybe it should be yours too. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to go check out my other tutorials. I have plenty of tutorials teaching you guys guys how to mix master record inside of pro tools and i think it'll definitely help you in your recording process guys as always stay tuned for the next video i know that she with it i know that she love when i hit it i know that she love she it. know i'm a freak in the bed and she know she gonna get it yes i'm gonna tear, tear it down tear it down that body leaking like it's bleeding you can tell by how she's breathing she yeah. dick like i'm on it jam it that pussy i'm on it we ain't on no no matter the time, I'm gonna fuck her to the morning And I'm gonna do that body damage like I promised her